So apparently this thing's got a little launch control action. He wants you to hear it. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Why BRZ? Why a BRZ? Hmm, everybody always asks me that. Yeah. <laughs> like, why didn't you just buy a vet? Well, because my wife pointed a BRZ out one yeah. day. I, I was looking at a car, I was looking at trying to buy a new car, and everything I would look at, she didn't really care for too much. And, and one day I said, well, what do you like? And she says, I like that right there. And I looked at it and I was like, oh. I was like, BRZ? <laughs> the Subaru right there? And she yeah, says, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, I like that one a lot. I'm like, that thing only has like 200 horsepower. Yeah. But, you know, so, so that kind of went by the wayside for a little bit. But then I saw they were making swap kits for them. So uh, I said, hey, remember you like that car? Well, maybe we'll pick one up and, yeah. uh, you know, see what I can do with it. Maybe I can make it a little bit faster and then I'll like it. And then, you know, fast forward to today, here we are. I ordered it, actually. I ordered the car and it, when it arrived, I went and picked it up, drove it home, started taking it apart. Right away. Yeah, I mean... I, I knew they were slow, yeah. but on the <laughs> drive home, my wife was driving next to me in her Jeep and we yeah. kind of raced a little bit and she walked me on you the freeway. You didn't even break it in. You're just like, get rid of it, yeah. sell it, yeah, see you later. Yeah, I mean, I took the car apart with just a couple hundred miles on it. Yeah. You know, those, that money didn't go very far with this build. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I did get some money out of it. I got a, quite a bit of money, but yeah, the, the amount of money that's gone into this thing since then is, that's peanuts. So, so the goal was for it to just kind of like look stock, be yeah. mostly stock. Those big fat tires in the back, that's a little bit too much even for me, but I kind of need them lately because yeah. I've got my buddies that want to go race. And yep. every time we'd roll up on the highway next to each other, you know, we'd hit it and I'd just be spinning the tires. So like you're telling me these are pretty much necessary for this car, right? And these are, what'd you say? Three? Those are 325, 35, 18. 325. Uh, Mickey Thompson, ET Street R drag radials. It's like the next step is putting slicks on it. Speaking of track mode, how does it do? Are you still yeah. kind of dialing stuff in or? I'm still dialing it in, but yeah. uh, you know, the car's more dialed than I am for the track. I've only been to a few track events, yeah. but I had it at Laguna Seca uh, back in November and I ran some low 140s. Wow. Which is, you know, it's okay. It's pretty yeah, good, I think. That's, that's sweet. And then you said you hit the drag strip, huh? Yeah, I've hit the drag strip a few times. What does it do there? It, you know, it's broke every time. <laughs> like, uh, still, still, hey. still, uh, still, still some growing pains. It, it, yeah. ran a, it ran an 11, I think 11 1 on a warm up run. Okay. And, and I broke an axle on, on a 3 4 shift. So just, it was just yeah. some, you know, it, I didn't, it should run mid 10s on yeah. the motor. And then, you know, I've got the fun stuff in the trunk, which should put it in the nines. I yeah, would think. Wait, if we'll get a little sneak peek. That's the sneak peek you get. Yeah, yeah. My Instagram handle is LS3BRZ. Yeah. I started out with a with an LS3 motor. Uh-huh. Um, it was a pretty pumped up motor. It was actually an LS3 stroker. It was okay. a 418, um, but it, it didn't last very long. So, so then the next step was uh, I went to an LS7 mm -hmm. and uh, some friends talking about them, talking with them about track stuff. They said, you need to do a dry sump. So it was a dry sump LS7. So I put the whole dry sump in here. I got a big oil, oil tank right here. It's a three gallon tank. And um, so that was a built LS7 solid roller cam. It was built for the track to be able to sustain yep. high RPMs, but it didn't, it didn't last very long either. So then I got with this uh, guy, local guy in Napa, uh, Steel Dust Machine, his name is Nate. And uh, I brought him my old motor and he kind of showed me all the stuff that was wrong with it. Yep. And then he said, this is what I want to build. So I said, build it. And what do we got here? So what we got what now, we the, the end result is this, uh, it's a 434 cubic inch LS7 based, which mm -hmm. means it's got LS7 style heads, which are, you know, the, the better heads if you want to get like a nice NA motor, you want yeah. an LS7 style head. So it's a solid roller cam, it's forged bottom end, the best of the best yeah on a motor and uh so far that's been the case i've been just thrashing on this thing and what does it put, it put down car. right now so this made 650 at the wheels Jeez. 
Made six fifty at the wheels. Six fifty NA. Just, just just on the motor. It, yeah. It's just absolutely. Well, six forty nine. Well, that's not. You know, <laughs> Dude, that when people ask me this, I say ah, it's about four hundred. Yeah. But really, it's like three ninety eight. You know what yeah. I mean? Just and that's and amazing. in this car, six fifty is a lot. It's it's yeah. a lot. Have you weighed it with this? In here yeah everything as you see it right now even with me in it it's 3300 pounds so the engine is the ls right yep. so i've got a uh, the clutch to go along with it um, yeah it's a carbon fiber plates it's a oh, rps shit. billet carbon clutch so it's got two carbon fiber discs it's got oh. carbon fiber flywheel well the flywheel's aluminum but it's got a carbon yeah. fiber like riveted onto it, it is it like the, an on-off switch the or thing, no bad? no it works it feels like a normal really? clutch. yeah yeah wow. it, feels, it works really well did you have to do some rear end is a ford end yeah or, okay so it's got a it's got a ford 8.8 .8. it's ugly but the thing yeah. is like it's but a it's tank. just beefy yeah. and, and then dr drive like, shaft shop axles okay you know they uh yeah custom hubs or still brz hubs or how's yeah, that work so 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 when I started out with this thing, I had some giant hubs, much bigger hubs, but um, I was having problems with the axles. So we went back to the, the factory hubs and I've got these axles that are a little bit simpler in design, yeah. but my problem is they're just too small. So mm. I'm gonna need to go back to those oversized hubs and some oversized axles. And so I got some growing pain still to deal with on that. So, so um, I've, I've got this thing running on a MoTeC ECU. Okay. And you talk about the dash, that's a MoTeC dash. I didn't have that to start with, but I've always had the MoTeC ECU. And you can take a Subaru or, or a BRZ or a Scion FRS or an 86 and make the two talk to each other like they came that way with this, with this ECU. Everything just plugs in. I use the factory ABS sensors, the dash worked, the AC worked, everything worked in this car like it came yeah. from the factory with an LS in it. I mean, an awesome system and it's so tunable. I can go in there. If I want to put different tires on there, I can just go in there and change the diameter. And now my traction control and everything works based on the new tire diameter, right? Wow. So when I put the big I mean, slick, that dialed, it, like... it's yeah, that, and I, I've got my traction control. Actually, I actually have a dial for it so I can turn Let it up, turn it down quick. Yeah. So the traction control, I can, I can adjust for more or less. And then I've got two uh, ethernet ports there. One's for the dash and then one's for the ECU. What is this? So the red switch, that's my, know. that's my, uh, that's my uh, octane switch. Oh, so I usually run shit. it on race gas. Yeah. So flipped up, that's race gas, 100 okay. octane. But if I'm out and I run out of fuel somewhere, I need to get some gas and all that's available is 91. I have a 91 octane too. Oh, you just flip the switch. Just flip the switch. Okay, whose idea was this? Gap? The gap sauce? Gap yeah, sauce, I saw dude. It I, oh, I, are you serious? I, yeah, someone I follow had it on, in his vet, and uh, I was like, oh man, I gotta get that. That is actually I amazing. Need that. Yeah, I, I was laughing. So this was a uh, this is a, a nitrous outlet kit. They make it for like a C6 to Z06 Corvette. Since I had an LS7 in there, that's what I looked at. But yeah. really any, any of them would have worked, but that's the one I bought. And then I kind of modified it a lot. Okay. Because it had like one solenoid over here and one over here, and all this bright colored stuff going to here and I wanted to keep it kind of mm -hmm. like, subtle and low key. I didn't want everybody just to know it had that. Totally. So, so uh, I ended up relocating the solenoids off to the side here, took the stickers off. And, and how does it work? So when people say like, I got a 50 shot, what does that mean? Yeah. So a 50 shot would typically a 50 shot is mm -hmm. a 50 wheel horsepower shot okay. on, on most systems. Um, this one I'm running a 150 shot. So, <laughs> oh, so, shit. so it made 649 on the motor. Yeah. It made, 808 at the tires so insane on the nitrous yeah so how do you activate it like is so there a okay. button so, or yeah, so this is this is something that's kind of bit me a few times first first thing is safety like, everything else is secondary right so i have it set up so that the nitrous i have a switch to turn it on it won't activate unless throttles at 90 percent or more it won't activate unless i'm at 4500 rpms or more it won't activate unless it sees the bottle pressures between 900 and 1000 psi uh, when you tune it you tune it for whatever psi you run uh -huh. if you tune it for 900 psi on the nitrous and then you have a thousand psi at some point then you're going to be too lean so i i tune this for about 950 psi so mm -hmm. between 900 and 1000 psi the nitrous will be active above a thousand psi the nitrous won't activate wow so there's super a lot cool of safety, safety that is super i never yeah. thought about it. you think like all the fast and furious right you're like all of a sudden they turn the bottle and they press the button yeah. you're like wait wait wait, hold it's, on it's pretty complicated yeah actually. that's so, actually so really I'll give cool you an example if i make a quarter mile run yep and i start at a thousand psi on the bottle when i when i take off i'm at a thousand psi by the end of the track it's probably going to be like 920 psi wow because as that bottle is as, a, as, a, as the nitrous right? is coming out of the bottle, it gets cold. So like, as it gets colder, the pressure drops. Ah. So that's why you have a heater on a bottle to keep the pressure up.
should I be nervous right now or a little bit? A little bit of nervousness is always kind of good to have on hand, you know? All right. All right. <laughs> so, you're, so you're ready to react? <laughs> oh, shit. I was going to ask, bro. What? Purge with that? That's crazy. Okay, I wasn't expecting him to do that. We got a little, uh... I didn't think he was actually gonna do it. Did you get it? I got it. No, that was that was literally perfect. Oh, yes. No, I know. I, I was like, I didn't know if you're gonna actually send it. My ear got a little blown out, but it was perfect. We're back. We're better than ever. I appreciate it, by the way. Yeah, man. It was That's freaking fun. amazing. Yeah, yeah. That's fun. By the way, if you're not already following him on Instagram, LS3BRZ, even though it's not an LS3 LS anymore. Something else now. You know what I mean? <laughs> I asked some questions on Instagram. We previously kind of talked about it a little bit, but costs on the swap. I always tell people you know, it's stupid money. So getting that out of the way. <laughs> now, usually you can do a nice swap, something that'll work. You can drive it. You know, beat on it, play with it. You know, 30, 40 grand should get you a nice car. You want to know what I got in this thing? Yes. So yes. just in parts. Yes. Now, I did all the work, right? Just in parts, I'm around 140. <laughs> It's all it could be a Lambo, the best. could be a Lambo, Lambo, but we were talking about it earlier. This experience that you get from this is just yeah. next level, I've right? Had, I've had, I had a Viper before. Yeah. You know, I've had way more fun in this thing. Yeah. Than I had in the Viper was supercharged even, and it was fun, but this is a different kind of fun. Last question. Hmm. This video may or may not be seen by a million people. We don't know. It could go viral. There's gonna we're be a lot of it. there's gonna there's gonna be a lot of people that are maybe interested in doing this swap. Yeah. What's one thing that you would recommend to kind of guide them in the right direction? Like, is there a company maybe they could reach out to to help out, or is there forums or anything like that that so you kind of figured out? So there's a couple good groups on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, there's like there's two LS swap groups on Facebook. Uh, there is the you know BRZ FRS website. I don't get on there very much. There's not a yeah. whole lot of good info for this, but but um, you know you go on the Facebook groups. Pretty active. There's like ah. it's not big. But there's a solid group of guys on there that are always active all day long talking about stuff. This is a kind of a newer car to be swapping. It's up and coming, it's pretty popular. Um, there's a couple companies that make kits. Some of the kits are better than others. The kit I used puts the motor in really low and yeah. pretty far back. Well, I think that's it. I, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like, comment, subscribe, go follow the boy, LS3BRZ. I post good stuff all the time. Amazing memes, we all love it. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.